Welcome or welcome back on C squared. In this example, we're going to look to a triangle in a coordinate grid. We see the triangle here, we have also the coordinates, and they ask us to classify this triangle. And I put here a hint U, sides, or angle. And if we look to the sides, we kind of notice in the picture that all these sides are different, right? And they're not equal. But if I look to the angles, in this one, maybe, maybe, we don't know, it's a right angle. We don't know, so we're going to put question. How are we going to do that? We're going to look to the slope of segment AB, right? If you remember the slope of segment, okay? So we can do that rise over run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4 over 6, and what else we need to be aware of? You need to be aware that this is a negative slope, right? Yeah. It's a negative slope. Because, no, it is a positive slope. I was wrong. It goes up from left to right. Okay? So the slope of AB is 4 over 6, which can be simplified, by the way, as 2 thirds. Okay? But what about the slope of BC? The slope of BC, if we use the same graphical technique, all right, first of all, we notice is negative. How do we notice that? It's going down, right? It's going down, right? Let's count. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, so you notice I always count the Y first because, yeah, the rise goes on top and the run on the bottom. So the slope of this one is negative 3 halves. What do we notice about these guys? They are negative, how we call them, reciprocal. Which means what for us? Which means that AB perpendicular on BC, the segments or the line, either way. Okay, which means angle B the measure of angle B to be correct is 90 degrees when the two lines are perpendicular. Which means for us that the triangle, in fact, ABC, is a right triangle. Okay. Now, some of you may say, I want to look to the sides. Are this, any, of these two, uh, or any of these sides congruent to another one? Okay. And the answer is no, right? Because it's a very simple, this is 4, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, if you use Pythagorean theorem, you will see it, you get a total different number than this one, which is 3 and 2, and the same with the other one. No equal sides here, you can check it. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C squared. Thank you.